Hello, good day, beautiful people. My name is Christy Oji. I'm here to talk about the topic Building Different Emotions by Actor. Who is an actor if I may ask? Fine. An actor is simply one who reacts. An actor is simply one who wears someone else's personality as if it was his or hers. An actor is someone who keeps keep giving you voice, more voice and voice. And now I come to this. Acting is a form of performance specifically which involves the construction of dramatic character. Actors construct character by the use of their body, their voice and imagination. Whatever role you're being given as an actor to interpret, you must try as much as possible to be realistic, be believable and be truthful. You must convince your audience that you are actually that character you're trying to portray and that makes you to stand out as an actor. What sets an actor apart from others is passion. That drive that pushes you to do that thing that you love to do. And when you do it, you are fulfilled that you're doing what you love to do. That's what we call passion. If you don't have passion for this business of acting, you will not do that. You will not be far. And that is just it. There's no two ways about it. Take for instance, my name is Christy Oji. And here I'm being given a script to do a role of Matilda. What, what is expected of me? All I need to do is to go through this script over and over and understand what this script entails. And by so doing, I have to drop my personality as Christy Oji aside and now wear the personality of Matilda and project what that character stands for. You see, the audience knows when the performance is good and when the performance is bad. Even the camera understands. There's nothing as good as being realistic in your acting as an actor. The audience knows how to criticize the work of art. You can't stop them because they watch you every day. They know when you're good and they know when you're bad. It's not about the star face here. An actor needs to be prepared before going on set. There's no two ways about it. Just like the farmer will not go to the farm without tools. An actor is supposed to read his or her scripts thoroughly and be grounded in it so that you'll be able to interpret your character very well. According to John Howard Swine, he states that actors can call up different kinds of emotions to develop their character in reality. Yes, and then Konstantin Stanislavski agrees with him when he states that for an actor to be able to portray a good character, they should try as much as possible to use the magic if. What, what does that mean? It means that for you to be able to interpret a character as an actor, ask yourself, what if this thing is happening to you in reality? How will you react to it? to give you an age to know what to do. Say for an instance, you have your mother of three kids and you lost one of them in an accident. In reality, it won't be, it won't, it won't be funny at all. Your reaction, you try and portray something that will make the whole thing look real as if it's actually happening to you. The shock that you show that you receive a news that you lost a child in an accident. That's what the audience want to see. So you bringing everything, making it to be realistic, makes you stand out as an actor. Don't fake it. Acting, though we know it's make believe, but then don't fake it. Be real. If a particular character said you're going to shed tears, we want to see the tears. We want to see it from the beginning drop down to your cheek and not where you try to indicate emotions by for instance they ask you to cry and you be like <laughs> oh. we are not seeing the tears even the camera knows when you're fake and that is not acceptable so be an actor that stands out to that stand out to give the audience what they want 
Um, I think I will draw the curtain here. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, comment, um, subscribe, and follow my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. I remain Christine Oji.